Sitting for long periods of time, especially the wrong way, could be causing more harm than you think. So we've called in personal trainer Lydia DeFrancesco to help us out with this. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We can really get into a lot of pain just from sitting at your desk, can't we? Absolutely. And the part of the problem is that people are so sedentary these days, right? Yeah. People commute to work, so they're sitting, and then they're at a desk for most of the day. A lot of people don't even take a break, so you're looking at between seven, eight, nine, potentially even 10 plus hours of just sitting. Sitting is the new threat to our health, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes they call it the new smoking. Yeah, so. I, I don't think they're wrong because no. if we're not moving, now the best thing you can do is probably get up and move around a little bit. Absolutely. But there are some things you can do even while you're working if you don't have a lot of time to get up and move around. That's right. So we're going to show some options today that people can actually do while they're sitting at their desks. Okay. okay. That can make a big difference? It can make a really big difference. One of the things I do want to mention is that uh, two things. One, when you're sitting at your desk, right, you're kind of hunched over. Yeah. So your chest muscles are getting tight in here. Oh, yeah, I feel that all the time. And a lot of times we're not working our back muscles, and so we're not stretching back like this. So we want to, one of the stretches we're going to do is for the chest. And the other thing that I recently learned was that for every one inch that your head is tilted down or pressed forward, mm -hmm. there's 10 more pounds of weight on your cervical spine. So you can actually have like 40 to 60 extra pounds. If you're like this texting, yeah. that's like 60 pounds of weight on your back. Wow. I know. So it's a lot of unnecessary pressure we're putting on our back and then we all wonder why our backs are hurting that's all the right. time. And we spend so much time I like know. this. So you want to make sure just generally you know, that you're keeping your head up as much as possible and Kinda almost like giving, giving yourself, that giving double yourself chin. a double chin. Exactly. Not one of those without so, having to try too hard. Speaking of neck, so one of the stretches uh, you can just do at your desk is just tilt your head to the side yep. and then with your other hand you're just going to reach down like you're touching towards the floor. Which hand? Like this, this hand? Yeah, okay, the opposite, so opposite hand. Side. And if you actually imagine trying to touch nice the floor, you're going to feel that stretch a little bit deeper. Yeah. Right? And then, of course, you would switch sides, do it the other way, reach with your other hand yeah. out to the side. And then what you can also do with your neck, because we have a lot of muscles here in the neck. Yeah. So if you go to the side, and then if you turn your chin down, you're going to feel it in a little a bit of a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To, to, because there's a lot of different muscles, there's like you like say, a, right? There's like a bunch of different and then so muscles. They're kind of like way. fingers. Yeah, and then and look then down. down. Yeah, and then I feel it right in there. Exactly. Wow, that makes yeah. a difference already. Right. Okay, what else do we do? Chest one. That's If, if you just do neck and chest, okay. that's gold. Uh, thumbs facing up, you're just going to reach, keep the shoulders down, reach behind you. So it's not so much about like puffing the chest up. You want to stay upright in your body and then the, just reach your arms behind. Okay. If you're sitting in a chair, you could also kind of come to the edge of your chair and grab the back of the chair if that oh. helps. Okay. Um, that could be an alternative if you're finding it hard to reach behind you. Yeah. Uh, and then just a little bonus, if you turn your thumbs down, that's going to stretch in the biceps. A different spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's little movements that are making Small a big difference. Small little movements, yeah. But this one, we want to open up the chest. The next one I call a magic uh, thoracic spine stretch. Okay. Uh, so, because the back of the spine here definitely gets... Um, tight. Yeah. So you're going to take your hands behind your head. You want to keep your feet uh, flat on the floor. You're going to twist to one side and then you're going to get stuck. So then at that point you're going to uh, tip to the side, take a big breath in and out, <sighs> straighten up okay. and then you should be able to twist a little bit more. A little bit more. And then again you tip to the side, breathe in and out and then straighten up and you can do that even a third time and then yeah. of course you would go the other, the other way. way too. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the side bend? The last one is just bending to the side. Again, so these you could all do standing. Yeah. But you can't, I wanted to show that you can do them sitting. Yeah. If you wanted, you don't have to leave your desk. Is it this more beneficial if long. you stand up to do it? No, not necessarily. Okay. The it, magic one, this this twisting one, you want to do sitting because you want to keep your hips straight. You don't right. want to actually be twisting. How in much your hips. more productive could we be then if we take some time to stretch out a little bit? Just even taking a break <laughs> makes yeah. you more productive, right? Just stepping away from the computer for a second, um, and and having even that little bit of mental break, taking the deep breaths in and out. That's mm -hmm. going to just calm down your nervous system a little bit more, and you'll be able to actually focus more on your work.